Ubla Loatak, Kanuit Pissy. Today is Monday. What day? All day today, let's be always do cooperate and let's treat. Nice job, everyone. Today, I'm excited to introduce the first day of art camp. We're going to start with a little blast from the past. As you watch this little art camp movie, see if you can recognize anyone in the show. Let's pause for a minute on this picture. Isn't this amazing? If you look along the top row, you can see a lot of our seniors. Take a look in there and see if you can find any of your brothers or your sisters or anything. And look how tiny Carson and Brett and Molly are. And there's Carol and, oh my gosh, it's just amazing to see you guys and see how cute you were and to think about how much you have grown. Let's take a minute and remember what it means to be an artist. Remember that artists are resilient. That means they keep coming back for more even when it gets tough. They take risks. That means they try new things. They're also creative which means they look at one thing and another thing and figure things out and put things together in new ways. 
They're adaptable. That means if something doesn't quite work out, they try to figure out a way to change it and make it better, kind of that, like that beautiful oops we did last week. They're motivated. They have inner drive to accomplish something, and they're passionate. They love what they do. There we go, guys. This is our art camp. Now some special news just for our older high school students. High school students, you have the opportunity to do some makeup work and to make sure that you are passing some of your stuff. So let's take a look what gulag will look like. Um, if you are in the morning gulag, Angie will give you makeup work for, stu for you to work on. You may use the computers, but no YouTube, no Facebook, no watching basketball, volleyball, or wrestling, and no shopping. Now, if you're lucky and you finish all of your makeup work, you do remain in the gulag for the rest of that period. There will be a backup activity for you when you've completed all of your makeup work. The adult who is supervising you We'll let Angie know after class that you've done all of your makeup work that's ready to go, and one of the teachers will notify you of your new art class. If you're assigned to silence, science gulag, you will also work on your makeup work so that you can either improve your grade or pass the class. Rebecca will have all the makeup work set up for you to work on. During this time period, there'll be no computers and no movies watched. Here's what you'll do to finish your work. Um, you'll work hard with the adults in the classroom, and when it's all done and turned in, you remain in the gulag for the rest of that period and work on a backup activity. Don't worry, that will count and help your grade too. When the period's over, the gulag supervisor will let Angie know that you've completed all of your makeup work, and teachers will notify you of what your new art class is. For high school students, this is a great opportunity to get caught up on some things you might have missed and improve your grade. And when you're done, you have the reward of, reward of all the enjoyable art projects. So are you ready for your big day? A lot of the younger students will be doing academics in the morning and art in the afternoon. 8 through 12, we'll have art for all day. Something to look forward to for you younger students as you get older. While you're working today, remember, don't give up. Keep on trying. You're going to make it. I'm not lying. Don't give up. Don't ever quit. Try and try. You can do it. Have an awesome day.